Welcome everybody! This is the second video of the Python Scrapy tutorial for beginners, where we will learn how to extract all the data. In our last video, we created our first Scrapy spider, this one, and we scraped a few fields from the book, one of them being the book URL, this one. We also learned that the book URL has more information to extract, and that's what we are going to do. In this video, you will learn how to scrape items from their own page, extract routes with the relative URLs, select elements by tag, class, partial class, and siblings elements, extract information from tables, use callbacks to other scrapy class methods. In our last lesson, we created this spider. We use it to extract the title, price, image and book URL. If this is the first video from this series you watch, please go to the first video where we create this spider. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Now we are going to scrape the book data from its own page, so we don't need this. Nor this. Mm -hmm. Now we have only the book URL, so let's check it. Print book URL, and I'm going to run the spider. We have the box URL here. At the start of this spider, we request the start URL, this one, and we get a response from the HTML. Now we need to request the book URL this one, to get a new response with the book HTML. To do so, we need to yield the request URL. So, we yield and we use scrapy request method, this one. And the first argument is book URL. And also we use a callback. Callback self. As you see, this returns a request from the using the book URL. But what is this callback? A callback is a method that is going to run after we get the, this response. We don't have this method yet, so let's write it. Let's come here, def pass book self response, and we are going to print response status. And we need to save it. We need to remove this slash too. Let's run it. And as you can see, we get the 200 status message, a success message. Before, we extracted all the data on the parse method, this one. And now we are going to do it here, on the parse book. We are going to extract everything from this method. So, let's open a random book. This one. For example, as every book has the same structure, we are going to use this one as a model. We have plenty of data here to scrape. Right click the title and then inspect. We can see that it's just an h1 after a div. Pretty easy. Let's find one h1 after a div. h1 div. We only have one. So let's copy this and go to the editor. Let's remove this. Title equals, as always, response, xpath, and we take the text and extract first. Let's print it. And we have all the titles here. But even better, let's come here, take the URL, I'm going to open another terminal. Sorry. Let's load the environment. Go to books and scrapy shell and the URL. Let's see if this is working. Yeah, this is working. Now we want to extract this image. We already did it on the first spider. And we have here the same problem. Our image has a relative URL, not the full path. Why don't you try to extract it? Pause the video and try to get. 
first the relative URL, then the final URL. Once you are done, print the result. This is how I did it. First, we get this div. So, div class item active. And we get this. And now I'm going to come here, create a base URL, and it's going to be http slash slash books to scrape.com and without this slash. Here I'm going to create rel relative URL and it's going to be well relative image and I'm going to create the final image by adding this base URL and this relative image. So self base URL plus relative image and remember we don't need this so I'm going to replace it with nothing and I'm going to print final image and I'm going to save it. Let's run the code again and now we have the URL here. I'm going to copy it and test it. Yeah, it's working. And now let's get the price. Right click, inspect. And you can see that the price text it's inside a P class with price color. So we can select the P with a class of price color. The problem is that it's not the only element with the with that class. For example, we have this, this and this one. And we can use the product main class. But product main is only a part of this class. Call hyphen sm hyphen six product main. We can use a selector to search for an item that it class contains a string instead of the whole class. We can write if contain class and now product main and we have to close. Now there is only one item selected. Let's try this on the cell. Come here. Let's come here. Response path. We need to change this with two with do double quotes and we are going to get the text extract first. We have the price now. Let's try again. Print price. And it's working again. Now your turn. Scrape the stock here. This one. Pause the video and use the technique you just have seen and do it yourself. Here is my solution. First, we get the div that contains a class of product main and we get the p with a class that contains the class in stock. Let's go to the shell. Let's extract everything. Let's 
Seems like we have two items. We only need the second one, so... And we don't need these empty spaces, so... I'm going to strip the text from the empty spaces. Strip. Okay, this is what we want. Come here, copy. Stock equals. And let's run it again. Nice. Now let's extract the stars. As you can see, we have four stars here, but we can difference them for the full ones from the empty ones because every one has the class icon star. Luckily, the writing is here. R uh, star writing 4. Again, we need to select a part of the class, star writing, and extract the class. So, div with a p that contains class star writing. Double quotes. And we are going to extract the class. Let's try on the cell again. Response, expand. Mm -hmm. Extract first. And we don't need start writing, so I'm going to replace this with an empty string. Replace star rating space with nothing. Four. This is the rating. As always, let's try it. Let's run the spider again. And we have the ratings here. Now we want the description too, but this is a tricky one. The text is inside a P with no class. How can I select it then? Well, we can't, but we can select the previous element, this div. Then we select the next HTML tag or the sibling, this one. Let's try it. Div ID product description we have this one selected so let's get the sibling the follow sibling is follow sibling and it's a p so we get it here let's come here description equals response Expand. Mm -hmm. Everything is or in order. Extract first. Print description. And we have the text description. Well, we need to extract the text, not the tag. So, text. Run it again. And now we have the text. As if you didn't have enough with the contains and siblings, now we have tables. This information, it's inside the, this table. How can I select this? Well, we need to select the table, this one, then the row, and then the value, in this case, td. After the selection, we get the text as usual. Let me do the first one, upc. Let's come here, table, class, table, and then the table row, but this doesn't work on browsers, so let's go into the scrappy cell, response, expand, let's copy here, we want to select the first one, then the td, where is the upc value, and extract the text and we are going to extract first. As you can see, it's here. So let's come here, UPC, 
save it and run this one. And I need to save it. And it's working. This is how we extract data from the tables. Now it's your turn. Extract the price excluding taxes, the price included taxes, and tax. And then, as we did on the first spider, yield the values. Stop the video and do it yourself. This is how I did it. Let's copy this. Come here. This is the third value, the fourth, and the fifth value, or row. So let's come here. Three, four, five. Let's change the variable name. Price. And now that it's working, let's store it into a file. Books. Toilet JSON. Let's open the new file. And yes, it is. All the information is here. Congratulations, you improved your spider. Now you know how to extract all the details from all the books. Well, at least from all the books from the main page. Only 20. Will not be nice to extract all the books going page by page until every book is scraped? Come here, let's stack 20 more, so we have 40, 60, until we get 1000 books? Don't you worry, you can know how on the next video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to get notified when I upload the next and many more videos. I will see you on my next video.